Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Jason, the co-founder of SERPWU, and today I want to go over real quickly in about five minutes how to use SERPWU so that you get an understanding of how SERPWU works, where certain components are within SERPWU, how it flows, and, and the reasoning behind why it works. And uh, so we'll jump right into it. This is the dashboard. This is what you're going to see when you first log into SERPWU or when you first sign up for SERPWU. And when you first sign up, you're not going to have any projects or keywords. So we actually pre-populate with uh, example projects and sample keyword data. And one of those projects is a project called Brand and one of the sample keywords is Pepsi. And the reason why we do this is because when you first sign up, you're not going to have any projects or keywords. And when you first make a project and you first make a keyword, that's when we start tracking data from that date going forward. So if you import a keyword in today, you're not going to be able to look at the past seven days or the past 30 or the past year of that keyword because you just put it in. So this is why we provide a sample uh, keywords and example projects so that you can actually see how this is supposed to work. Uh, so that while you're collecting data on your keyword and, and we're analyzing it for you, you at least can see and figure out how SERPWU works. Now, when you first log in, the dashboard is what you're going to see first. And this dashboard happens to be for the uh, brand project with the uh, sample Pepsi keyword. And what we're looking at with the keyword Pepsi here is all of these websites uh, for the past 28 days from April 2nd until April 29th. Uh, so this is the range here and you can see that uh, each one of these lines happens to be a domain or a URL and how those domains and URLs have moved in the last 28 days from first position to the 20th position. Now you can change the date range. All you have to do is go over to the calendar icon and you can set specific dates for both ends of the ranges. Or you can actually say, you know what, I just wanna look at the past 14 days, uh, or even the past year if you've got that much data. So now we're looking at the past 14 days, and our focus date is something that tells SERPWU we want to look at uh, sites that ranked for this keyword on a specific day. It just so happens we're looking at, uh, at the word Pepsi and its SERP results for April 29th. But maybe we want to ask the question, you know, I know who's ranking today. I see that. But I want to know who actually ranked on April 20th, not April 29th. Well, you can do that easily with our focus date. So we'll go to April 20th. And as you can see, our focus date bar has moved to April 20th, and we can now look at all of the websites that ranked on April 20th. Now, those websites might not necessarily rank today. Uh, for an example, on April 20th, we had this website that was in the SERPs, uh, pepsistore.com. It ranked on April 20th, but it's not ranking currently. And you can see it's kind of popped in and popped out during that entire range and, and been at different positions. Uh, but it ranked on April 20th. It's not ranking today. That's what our focus date allows you to do. Now, a couple other cool things. Uh, you can actually add notes. So if you're working on your website or on a client's project, you can put in that on this date you uh, built this link or on this date you did this content or on this date uh, maybe you signed up for um, Webmaster Console tools. You know, whatever notes you want to put in, you can actually track what has happened on what day and then track the results of that later. You can also get uh, reports for this particular keyword if you want to get a CSV or a PDF re a report. And you can also do things such as uh, if you want to look at site links and map packs or if you don't, you can actually take them in and out of this graph with the selection. You can view everything. You can just view uh, domains and URLs that you've tagged specifically. You can look at just domains that you're tracking specifically instead of the whole SERP. And you can even select an online rep reputation management mode that we have uh, to, if you're into online re reputation management to see positives and negatives. And one of the ways that you can tag that and use that feature is you can actually go over here to the side and you can, can select one of these. So let's say that Pepsi Store was your website. You can actually select that 
uh, match it to the domain or the, or the URL, and you can tag it as either negative, neutral, positive, news, commercial, affiliate. They all have their own color, and those colors are represented in this side little legend here. Uh, you know, if we were to select a negative, it would actually turn this result red, just like it has. Now you can uh, take away sites, like say you don't want to see pepsi.com and you don't want to see Wikipedia, maybe you don't want to see Facebook, and that will change the chart for you. Something else that's cool going uh, past this dashboard is if you scroll down, you can actually look at the, the ranges for, for this SERP as far as uh, who is domain, uh, the longevity, uh, the page rank. Now the longevity is actually a reflection of the time range that you're on. So if you've only got seven days of data, all of these would just say that the longevity is seven. If you had 365 days worth of data, a lot of these would say 365, except for the ones that have just popped in. So let's say you're looking at 365 days worth of data, a new domain pops in and it's only been there for 14 days. The longevity here would say 14 days in that 365. So you can see how long a domain has been in the SERP, what its position ranges are, the who is date, their Facebook data, LinkedIn data, Pinterest, PageRank, we've even got Alexia, Moz, and Majestic data for some, for some of these uh, URLs as well. And you can look over all of these and determine if this is uh, a SERP that, 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 that you want to get into and monitor. Uh, we even look at volatility, which is a, a metric specific to SERP Woo, something that we invented. Most of our competitors looked at look at the volatility for an, an entire set of data. We actually do it per keyword. And you can go into volatility and tell that today there's been 18%, yesterday 14, and from seven to 30 days, uh, it's, it's bounced around between 21 to 31 and 23. And what that is is a reflection of what's bouncing around in this SERP for the past month. You know, how many domains have changed position and how many spots within that change that change was so that's the vol you know the volatility and you can uh, you know compare that vol that volatility uh, to other keywords to other projects even globally to see if there's a change in your specific SERP or if it's something that that's global like all across Google now something else you can do is use the magnifying glass if you've got a lot of projects and keywords you can search for them here uh, you can permanently turn on the site navigation, uh, which I do recommend. You, you can look at your alerts if you've set up alerts for different keywords and domains and look at their position and get alerted when something moves a lot or drops a lot. You can look at all your projects at once. Uh, in the sad navigation, if you want to change any of your personal information, like your email, your password, if you want to upgrade your plan and change your subscription, if you want to get on our affiliate program, if you want to use our API, in the sad navigation, you click the cog wheel and you can easily get all that so that you can get a hold of our API, become an affiliate, you can log out, you can change your account information, change your subscription. Uh, we have our quick start guides that can go more in depth on each of these panels and user flow. This is the SERP dashboard, what we're on now. Project Wizard, very important because this is where you would go to create a new project and put in your keywords. You can have as many keywords as you want within a project. You can have unlimited projects. This is where you attract certain domains, like say you put in a keyword, but you're really specific about one or two type of domains. You can input that in here too. And this is where you would create your project. Uh, you can also look at uh, all of your projects, all of your reports, edit your alerts and create alerts. You can even go into Quick Glance and Quick Glance will show you very quickly at a glance, uh, you know, the domains that you are tracking and what projects they're in and the keywords that they are. If those domains, you know, how many of them are in first, how many are through second through five, six through 10, ten even all the way up until the top 100. And it'll let you know really quickly how that project is doing and how those do domains that you're monitoring are doing as well. Our Keyword Finder, uh, something that I'm very proud of, you can go into Keyword Finder and you, you can put in any keyword you want. We're looking at best keyword tool here and very quickly you'll get a list of keywords that are not available in a lot of other keyword tools. Uh, you can look at uh, all the information that other people 
provide you like these keywords, the competition, the volume, the PPC. You can add these keywords from this uh, display right into a project and start tracking them without having to go back and add it into a project. You can do it all right here. Uh, you can even look at uh, you know this legend here. Uh, you can look at which of the top 10 are actually ranking for that keyword. So if we look at AdWord tool, we can tell that SEO book, uh, keyword tool.io and Pamorama.net are all linking for this keyword right here. Uh, that's what this icon shows. Uh, you can also go into global stats and global stats will show you very quickly uh, what's happening across all of our keywords as a whole. So if you've got a question about an algorithm shift or something in your niche, maybe it's just something that you've noticed about Google Spain. Maybe it's something that you've noticed just about desktop. Uh, maybe it's something that is affecting keywords that have uh, over 10,000 uh, in volume. This is where you can see that. Uh, you know, if you wanted to look at, uh, you know, just local desktop, you can compare local to desktop right here if you wanted to as far as uh, global volatility. Uh, scrolling down, you can actually compare countries if you wanted to, like the United States against uh, our Argentina. Uh, you could look at, um, as we scroll down, you can look at just monthly search volume so you can see how Google is treating keywords that have certain search volumes, not just if it's country related, not just if it's device re related. There's a lot of ways to use this very powerfully instead of just looking at something like Moz Weathercast or Algaroo, which is just looking at generic data sets and are not breaking it down for you. So if you had a question about algorithms or your specific uh, industry, you could come, come in here and look at it. Uh, but that's per, pretty much in a nutshell, real quick version of SERP Woo. We're gonna go back to the SERP dashboard here. And I'm gonna turn off the side navigation. And the last thing that I wanted to show you here is that, uh, you know, this looks confusing. It's not, you've gotta be able to go in, create your project, create your keyword, look at the data that, that we collect over a long-term range, uh, you know, maybe over 30 days, 30 days, 60 days, and then scroll down and look at these individual URLs uh, look at the URLs on the chart. Uh, you know, even when you hover over one of these domains and URLs, you, you get a quick glance at the bottom here uh, to be able to look, to, to, to look at all the information, you know, if it's Facebook information, if it's domain information. Uh, but you'll want to actually come in and just explore SERPWU, look at those major areas and review our training videos. And if you've got any questions, just hit us back um, you know, through, through our contact area and, uh, we'll be glad to uh, talk to you and walk you through it. Thanks. Bye.